in this session we will be working on payment details page okay let me just show you the demo of that now here i'm just going to log in using one user okay this is my demo project i'll just click on login and here i'm just going to log in using kanam password 1234 login okay successfully logged in okay you can see as soon as i log in i am redirected to payment details.php and inside this i'm having payment option okay here i'm having two options either i can pay using this upi method or you can, i can just pay offline okay this we are going to create now if i just come back i'll just come to cart now when i click on checkout okay images are getting loaded here you can see now inside this checkout you can see user is logged in so here i am having this payment option inside this checkout now first we are going to style this one later on we are going to write okay now whenever i hover on this payment offline you can see below i am getting user id okay whichever user has logged in that particular user id will be displayed okay now we are going to see how to display this kind of data now inside okay here i have created the file payment.php if you want to give payment details okay whatever file name you want you can give as of now i have just created payment.php i'll just come inside this file now let me close all the files now inside this i have already included this basic boilerplate of html let me just change the title and here i'm just going to write payment page i'll close this now i'll just save this one i'll copy the path and here separately i'm just going to paste the path i'll just remove this now inside this you can see here i'm having payment.php and inside this i'm having this text payment now what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove this i'll just come to user login.php and from here i'm just going to copy the bootstrap css link i'll come here i'm just going to copy this one because i'm just viewing this in separate tab so i'm just pasting bootstrap css link but we have already seen inside this checkout.php if the session is not set will be redirected to user login and inside this checkout we have already included this bootstrap css link you can see we have already included this one in new tab if you don't want to see this payment then you don't have to include all these things you can directly write the code whatever you want Okay as of now I am viewing in separate tab so I'm just including this bootstrap css link now I'll just come to user login.php and from here I'm just going to copy this two things I'll copy this one and here I'll be pasting that and also I'm just going to close this php syntax I have just included connect.php because I am going to access the user id that is I am working with database so I'm including connect.php and also I have just included functions now once it is done below this body i'll just create one div and for this div i'm just going to give the bootstrap class container okay if we give container that will not take complete 100% of the width it will take some particular width now inside this let me just write one h2 and for this i'll just give text center i just want the text in the middle and also i'm just going to give the color as text info okay which will give me in blue color inside this i'm just going to write payment options okay basically i am having two options in category 2 we will see how to integrate payment method using php now i'll refresh this one now you can see here i am having payment option and color is also changed now below this i'm just going to create another div and for this div i'll just give the class name as row because both the things i want side by side so i'm just wrapping inside row now inside this first i'll just create anchor tag and here i'm just going to give one link https www.paypal.com okay whatever you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give this paypal.com and inside this anchor tag itself i'm just going to create one image i'll just write here image tag inside src i'll be passing the image path you can see inside this root i'm having images folder inside that i'm having one image called upi you can see inside this i'm having upi.jpg i'll just pass that one now i am inside payment.php and my payment.php is present inside the users area now i have to come outside of this so here i'll be writing double dot i'll come inside images folder inside this i'm having upi.jpg i'll save this now let me just come here i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this image now when i click on this image i will be redirected to paypal.com let me just remove one w from here i'll save this 
I will come back. I will refresh this one. Now again when I click on this, I will be redirected to www.paypal.com homepage. Okay, this is how we are going to give the link. I will just come back. If you want to open this in separate tab, then you can just give a target. Target is equal to blank. Okay, this is going to open in new tab. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now when I click on this, you can see in new tab it has been opened. I will close this one. Okay, here I have just created one row. Now this entire thing I just have to wrap inside one column. So what I am going to do, I will just write one div and for this div I will just give here call md6 which means that in median screen I am just giving 6 column space for this particular image and inside this div container I am just going to paste that one. Okay, this is the first div container which is having medium 6 and inside that I am having this image. Now again I will just copy the same thing, below this I am just going to paste, okay whenever we are writing this columns it should always sum up to 12. Now here I am having 6, here I am having 6, now inside this I do not want this one, whenever I click on payment offline I should be redirected to orders page, so here I will be writing order.php, target I do not need anything and inside this I do not want the image, let me just remove the image and here I will be writing pay offline. I will save this. Now I will refresh this one. You can see here I am having this pay offline. My image is very large so I am getting this one. What I am going to do, I am just going to reduce the size of the image. Here I am just going to add internal styling. Okay, if your external styling is working then you can add external styling. As I told in my previous videos, my external styling is not working because of cache or something. So inside this itself I am just going to add internal styling. I will just target the image and for this let me just give the width, width I will be giving 50 percentage. I will save this, I will refresh this one, okay now here I am having, okay it is very small, let me just write here 100 percent, I will refresh, okay now here I am having this image. Now this payment offline and this I want in the middle, you can see, uh, let me just show you, you can see I want this kind of thing, okay payment option, here I am having this one. So what I am going to do? This payment offline, I will just wrap inside H2 and here also I am just going to, I uh, will just close this one. I will save this, I will refresh this, now it is increased, now this I want in the middle. So what I am going to do, for their parent, okay, this is, this is the child, this is the child and for both we are having this div as the parent. So for them I am just going to give display flex. As soon as I give display flex, they will come in horizontal row but by default they are in horizontal row because I have given column 6, column 6 and I have wrapped inside row and also I am just going to give here justify content, justify content to be center, justify content center and also align items to be center. I will save this, I will refresh this one, as soon as I give you can see here I am having this result. But here also in middle I want some space. So for this H2, let me just give the class. I will just write a text center. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this pay offline. If you want to give margin, padding, whatever you want, you can give. As of now, let me just give here. I will be giving margin top of 5. I will just save this. Now I will refresh this one. Now here I am having some spacing. Okay, this is how we are going to create payment option. Now whenever I hover on pay offline, I should be getting the user id here. Okay, below this I should be getting user id. So for that we just have to write the php code. Now here below body I am just going to write the php code. I will just write one comment. I will be writing php code to access user id. Okay, whichever user is logged in, that user id I need. Only that user can pay whatever order that user has ordered. Using that id the user can do the payment. Now here I will be writing PHP, below this I am just going to close this one. Now inside this, first I just have to access the user IP address. Okay, now I am going to access the user IP address, so I need this function, so I have included this one. I need this, so I have just included that. I will just minimize this. Now inside this functions, we are having common functions and we have already created this one. You can see inside that we have already created this IP address, this function, I will copy this one. And below this, I am just going to create one variable. I will just write here user IP. User IP, inside this, I am just going to call that function. 
whatever IP address I will be getting, that IP address will be stored inside this variable. Now, below this, I am just going to write query to get user. I will just write here get user. Inside this, I just want to get the user select star from my table name is user table. Let me just check for that. I will just come to user login. I will just scroll down and inside this, okay, my table name is user table. I will copy this, select star from user table where I am just going to give the condition where user IP, okay, this is the column name whatever I have created when I created the table where my user IP is equal to this variable, okay, if this is getting matched as I already told you, we are working with only one user. So, when you are registering using two users, both the users will be having the same IP address. Okay, once this website goes online, only then we will be having different IP addresses. So, as of now, you can also work with only one user. Later on, we will be working with multiple users. Okay, here I have just selected one condition. Now, I have to execute this query. I will just write here result. And inside this, I am just going to write here my SQLI query. And this is going to take two parameters. First is our connection variable. And second, wherever we have written query, that variable I am just going to pass. Now, what I have to do, I have to fetch the user ID. So, for that, we are having MySQLI fetch ASOC or you can use fetch array. Here, I will be writing fetch data or run query. Inside this, I am just going to write here MySQLI fetch array. And here, I just want to and inside this, I will be passing this variable. I will copy this one and here, I am just going to paste. I will just paste that one. Okay, what I have done, first I have accessed the IP address, I have stored inside this variable. Then I am selecting the data from the user table. Here I have given where clause, where user IP is equal to this IP. Okay, whatever IP I am getting from here, if this is getting matched with the IP address that is stored in table, only then I am executing this query, I am fetching the data from the database. Now from database, I just have to access the user ID. So here I will just create one variable, user ID. And inside this, I am just going to write here run query and I just want to access the user ID. Okay, this pattern we have seen plenty of times. Okay, this is the column name, this is the variable name and this whatever I am passing here, that is the column name that is present inside the table. Okay, these are the variable names. Now using this, I will be getting the user ID. Now what I am going to do, I will just copy this variable. Now inside this anchor tag, here I will be writing one question mark. And after that, I will just write here user ID. User ID is nothing but, here I am just going to write PHP code. PHP, I will just close PHP. Here I will be doing echo. And here I am just going to paste that variable. Okay, now whenever I hover on pay offline, whatever ID that user is having, that will be displayed for me. Now here I have just created this order.php. I will copy this one. Inside users area, I am just going to create that file. Okay, now orders.php is created. Now, I will come here. I will refresh this one. Okay, now here I am having one syntax. You may have on line 25. Okay, let me just check for that. On payment.php. Okay, on line 25 showing me. Okay, this query is not getting executed. So, okay, I just have to wrap inside single quotes because my EP address is varchar. I will save this. Now, I will just refresh this one. Now, you can see I do not have any error. Now, whenever I hover on pay offline, you can see below I am getting order.php question mark user ID is equal to 1. Okay, because Khanam is having user ID as 1. So, that ID is been displayed for me. And also, I am having only one user. So, that is the reason it is getting matched. Now, when I click on pay offline, you can see I am redirected to orders.php and user ID is equal to 1. Now, again, let me just come back. Okay, now I will just close this one. Now, when I click on this, let me just refresh this. Now, I will just click on cart. Okay, now user is not logged in here. I will click on checkout. Now, I am just going to log in using Khanam. Now, password 1234, login. As soon as I log in, you can see I am redirected to payment option. Now, if I just come back inside checkout.php, this payment is included. Okay, if you want to reduce the size, you can do. Okay, based on your requirement, you can do whatever you want. Let me just give here 90 percentage and also I am just going to give margin auto and display to be block. Okay, so that my image will come in the middle. I will save this. Now, if I just refresh this one, you can see here I am having this image. 
okay this is how we are going to work if the user is logged in okay here i have to do some changes you can see it has completely gone this side but you can see here i'm having welcome khanam and also here i'm having this logout button now you can see here my navbar is changed here i'm having home products register why it is happening because inside this checkout.php i have included this payment option now and inside this payment option i have given the styling for this image and for this image i have given here you can see i have given 90 percentage and margin i have given and also i have given this display block now when i open this separately then it will work completely fine but when it included inside checkout.php inside this checkout.php here i am having this image you can see here i am having the image that is for logo and here inside this this logo is not displayed because here i have given the wrong path now if i just add here one dot i'll save this i'll refresh this one you can see the image okay whatever i am having here that is been displayed so what i am going to do inside this payment.php for this image i'll just give one class i'll just give the class class i'll just write here payment image i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now that has been applied now for this image i'm just going to add some styling okay my external styling as i already told you it is not working for me but if it is working for you then you don't have to apply any styling but as of now i'm just going to apply i'll copy this logo and inside this i'm just going to write here internal styling and here i'll be writing logo and for this i'll just give the width width i'll be giving 7 percentage and height i'm just going to give 7 percentage i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now you can see it is working completely fine okay these are the little fixes if you get you can solve by yourself you don't have to get panic if it is not working okay there will be some changes you have to do if you are not getting just look for the errors just try to explore the errors and try to solve as much as you can by yourself if you solve by yourself only then you will be able to understand the concepts okay now we are done with this payment section and whenever i click on this i will be redirected to orders.php okay next we are going to work with orders whatever items user has added to cart okay we are going to see how to order that items and how the details should be sent to the database okay this is all about payment i have not done anything i have just done internal styling i have just changed the images sizes so that i'll be getting the proper result okay now we are done with this payment you can see i have just included this code then here i am having all these things and here also okay now if i just don't include this one bootstrap css link i'll just remove this now i'll refresh this one again it is going to work but if i open this in new tab i'll copy the path and here if i just paste that one i'll just remove this local host okay now bootstrap stylings will not be applied here because i have opened in new tab and inside this i have not included this bootstrap css link so that is the reason i have included if you don't want to see this page separately then you don't have to include this because we have already included that inside checkout.php okay now we are done with this payment next we are going to work with order details